Oh, hey, sir, can I ask you about the shuttle schedule? Uh, I don't ride the shuttle, I'm a burglar. Um, the shuttle schedule's really off. They are always 30 minutes late or they're just, they're not really on time. They should be out here so we could get on, so we could at least get warm. And wait while they're waiting. And like, <laughs> They sometimes get here so late and then we have to be home by a certain time or we have to be at a class by a certain time, but they're always late and they need to be on time. On the new show drivers last week, it was 440 and we were just waiting there. He uh, sitting maybe two feet away from us, says, oh, it's now five o'clock yet, drives off. We have no idea where he goes. By the time he comes back, it's 530 and he says, Oh, it's uh, past five o'clock. You have to wait until six fifteen. Yeah, I think they called... need to get a bus instead of a van. Yeah, the space <laughs> yeah, and is I ridiculous. think they should have a van for every <laughs> housing. Like ours should have their own van. Stone Ridge should have their own van. Yeah. And shit yes, like that. because it's crap, always just so shit. I look at him and I say, "What the hell? You didn't make a five o'clock run, so why can't we go now?" And he's like, "That's not my problem." It's, it's always packed. They always gotta come back three to like five times. It's ridiculous. It's just, it's always packed. And since they changed the, the schedule, it just has not been right. It's the past couple quarters, it's just been like wrong. Um, how much work goes into the shuttle, into playing the shuttle schedules? Well, um, it is a kind of complex process. I mean, it's not hard in terms of, um, you know, like skill set or brain power, that kind of thing, but it's just a lot of logistic type things. Um, we have to look at the class schedules for the upcoming quarter. Um, so basically what I do is I go to, um, you know, the registrar and I get a copy of all the classes that are going to take place for the next quarter. And then I have to go through um, and see all of the class times when they start and then all of the class times when they end um, so that I can kind of get an idea for how many 8 o'clock classes there are or how many um, classes are getting out at 1150 or you know those kinds of things so I can see well if there are you know 30 classes that start at 8 o'clock in the morning um, you know I know that I'm gonna need you know shuttles obviously going to get people at the properties um, to get them on time to class for 8 a.m.